One of my favorite players to watch this season was Pelicans rookie Herb Jones. He's already an elite defender and someone that's very fun to watch on that end of the floor due to his versatility. But he also showed enough offensive juice for me to believe that he's well on his way to being an important player on a contender. I'm not saying he's a future star, but his impact on the game can be one of the most valuable to a team the same way it is for someone like reigning defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart. In today's video, I'll be breaking down the game of Herb Jones and why I believe he's going to be one of the most impactful players in basketball, even if he doesn't put up great offensive numbers. Obviously, Herb's impact starts with his defense. Jones is somebody that is arguably the most versatile defender in the league. He is somebody that can legit switch one through four and even handle some fives, although I wouldn't put him there full time. At 6 foot 8 with a 7 foot wingspan, Herb has the ideal height and arm length for a defender. On top of this, he has very good footwork and lateral movement skills. On the ball, he's very good. He frustrates ball handlers when they try to drive or create off the dribble, and he's very good at forcing contests. However, to be an elite defensive player, you have to be more than just an on ball defender. It's also about how you play off ball as well. And at least to me, Herb Jones' off-ball defense is even better than his on-ball defense, which really says something because he's really good on ball. He's someone that is very dangerous in open space. He uses his movement skills to cover the entire floor. He plays passing lanes very well. He's very smart on switches and knows how to play just about every defensive coverage. He's also a very good defensive communicator that has a really good knowledge of offensive sets and plays. He manipulates opposing offenses to throw passes and bait them into passes like a defensive back would. He's elite both on and off the ball in many regards. He's not perfect on defense. One thing that he really isn't great at is rim protection, but I do think he's actually solid in that area and far from liability. But I don't think he'll ever be a big time rim protector or a big time shot blocker. But again, he's someone that can average around one to one and a half blocks per game while also being enough of a deterrence at the rim. So again, it's not too much of a worry, but it is noticeable. And the one area I want him to improve on is the strength area because he does get caught up on screens a bit and he can get out muscled by stronger offensive players but he does hold his ground well for the most part and I do think adding more functional strength to the frame is something well within reason. So it's really the only concern I have and even then it's a minor concern because he's already elite on defense despite not having maybe the most ideal strength ever. Herb Jones' defense reminds me of Conan's paper ninjutsu, which is beautiful and intriguing in its many uses, making it very versatile while also being very dangerous for opponents to deal with. This is the exact same way I feel about Herb Jones' defense. To me at least, it's one of the most pleasing things to watch in basketball. He's extremely versatile on that end of the floor, which is intriguing, and it's really dangerous for opposing offenses to deal with. And also like Conan, Herb is very smart when it comes to his specific skill set. However, Herb Jones is also a reliable offensive player. I don't think he'll ever be a big time player on offense. I don't think he will ever be a top 3 scoring option on a contender. I honestly don't even know if he will ever have its 15 points per game in his NBA career. But I do think that he is far from a liability on offense. He's a decent catch and shoot guy and he's shown legit improvement as a suitor from his college days to now. In fact, if he showed the signs he showed as a rookie during his days in Alabama, he would have gone way higher than the 35th overall pick in the draft. And I do want to give Fred Vinson his flowers for helping his development as a suitor, as well as other young players on the Pelicans like Zion Williamson and even Lonzo Ball when he was with the team. Fred is really good at what he does and deserves his recognition. However, despite career shooting indicators, Herb is definitely a play finisher more than anything. Over half of his offense comes from when he doesn't even take a dribble. He's a good finisher at the basket as he shoots 66% in the restricted area and he shoots 51.8% on his layup attempts. Herb Jones is a 3 and D player through and through. 
he mostly takes threes and layups, doesn't really have a mid-range game, and really isn't an offensive creator. However, he does have a decent passing skill set, he has good vision, makes good reads, and makes good decisions as a passer. He's not perfect or a big time playmaker, but he plays within the Florida offense and usually doesn't hurt the offense either. The most important thing for me is that Herb Jones is far from a liability on offense. Herb Jones has all the makings of an impactful player on a contender. His defensive value alone makes him impactful, but his offense being solid is also a great tool as well. Having someone who could be a legit all-star level defensive player while also being an average starting level offensive player is incredibly valuable. And every contending team would want a player like this. Herb Jones could legitimately be a defensive player of the year one day. That's how good his defense is. Barring injuries, it would shock me if he isn't a multi-time all-defense player and someone with multiple top three finishes in defensive player of the year voting. He's somebody that can be a connecting off-ball player on offense. He's someone that can average around 10 to 13 points per game on decent efficiency and doesn't hurt the offense while fitting well with just about any lineup while also being one of the best defensive players in the league. That's a player any team would want, especially teams that are contending. Herb Jones may never put up big time offensive numbers. In fact, I would be shocked if he did put up big time offensive numbers, and they aren't going to be flashy or stand out. But that doesn't change the fact that Herb Jones has all the tools in the world to be one of the most important players on a really good team. In fact, I would be shocked if he doesn't end up becoming one. But that is the end of this video. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. Again, you guys have no idea how much the support on these videos means to me. And the fact that you guys watch these videos means the world to me. And I, again, can't thank you guys enough for that. Again, if you haven't already, why not subscribe if you made it to this point. You clearly saw something you liked in this video, or at least I think you did, or hope that you saw something you liked in this video. And I have plenty of other videos on this channel like this that you can check out. And I have plenty of videos in the future like this that I think you would like as well. So again, subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. Both of those things would mean so much to me and it helps the video grow. It helps my channel grow. We're on that road to 1,000 subscribers. I think we can hit that sooner rather than later, maybe in a week. So again, thank you guys so much. But with that being said, have a nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.